Chef Margarita Flores. <laughs> First of all, Jeff, congratulations on that great award. Thank you very much. Very deserving. And you know what? It was such a surprise to see you in that TVC that we saw, uh, the Hong Kong TVC that we got to watch. I'm very curious, how did that come together? How were you tapped for that, and how was the shoot for you? Well, you know, when the Hong Kong Tourism Board invited me to be part of the ad, I was like thrilled to the F because Umberto Bambana has always been my idol. I'm like a groupie. I follow him around. Because um, he's the only Michelin star chef who's Italian who's outside of Italy. So just imagine what I mean, precious wealth that is for Hong Kong for him to be there. He's been there 20 years. And when they said I was going to, to be in the ad alongside him, and I was going to be the only female chef, of course, how could I say no, right? And I'm sure you can see I'm always gushing when it's when it's time to talk about Hong Kong. My first trip ever outside the Philippines as an eight-year-old was to Hong Kong, so it's under my skin. All right, so I can tell, you know, right off the bat, you're a huge Hong Kong fan. You are in love with the food as well. Um, growing up here in the Philippines, though, and also being trained in Italy, yes. um, what was it like being, you know, being exposed to the food of Hong Kong, and how has that kind of influenced you as well? Well, I don't know if many of you know, but in 1982 and 83, I lived in Hong Kong, actually. I worked there with an investment bank. Yes. Very strange, oh. very <laughs> change. <laughs> But um, this was before I really kind of like was sure about wanting to cook and, and work with Italian food. But being in Hong Kong, the, for me, it's like the biggest foodie city in the world. And I think that's where I learned how to appreciate good food, what it was to cook for myself. I had a little little hole of an apartment on Robinson Toe, number 30, very low Robinson Road. And the apartment was a shoebox, but that's where I started to cook for myself the first time. So I'm thinking that it's really Hong Kong that got me started into this fashion and made me realize what good food and good eating is all about. I'm, I'm a little curious. What is your favorite dish to enjoy whenever you're in Hong Kong? Oh gosh, you're going to be surprised. Oh, what is it? <laughs> um, steamed minced pork patty with salted fish. Ooh. It's a very home style dish. You don't find it in like the upscale restaurants, yeah. but I think Learning heritage cuisine was one of the best blessings that I ever had. I mean, from Hong Kong. You know, that and um, using a lot of salted egg and steamed egg, right? <laughs> so a lot of home-style cooking as well. It was, a, it was a good learning for me. Also because that's how you started out discovering your passion for cooking. Oh, yeah, I think really so. Yeah, I think everywhere you look in Hong Kong, whether it's upscale restaurants, yes. street food, I mean, everything is of a level that is just the ultimate. That's right. It's good that you mentioned that. You know, everywhere you look when you're in Hong Kong, that's true. You find a uh, fine dining restaurant where you can also enjoy really, really good food on the streets as well. Absolutely. Now, when it comes to food trends that are already popular or you feel are going to become popular in Hong Kong, what do you think would also be greatly appreciated here in the local scene as well? Well, I think what's great is that you fly, you know, like an hour and a half yeah. to Hong Kong, and the biggest new food trends are already there. Like the hottest new restaurants that are kind of under the radar, you find them in little side streets like off Hollywood Road and all that. So the next big thing you'll discover is flying like really quickly out to Manila. So apart from learning about also you know the authentic uh, Chinese ingredients and all of that, I think that people are looking to Asia for inspiration. So I think that Hong Kong is in the best place for dictating what's next in the future of food. So it's just a big international food hub. If you're looking for, you know, a new taste, a different experience, Absolutely. just an hour and a half away. That's a really interesting thing to, thing to say. Sometimes you're stuck in the road here in Manila a little longer. longer than that. So <laughs> an hour and a half away, and you get to experience different tastes from all over the world with a little taste of Hong Kong as yes. well. Now. I am very excited to share with everyone that everyone here is actually going to be treated to a very special um, uh, menu for today. Yeah. And maybe you could, you know, enlighten us a little bit about your special creations for today's brand launch. Well, I'm hoping that the first three little pass arounds that we shared with you outside were already like a, a good way to sort of um, entice you to be more excited about what you're going to have for the rest of the lunch. And the first dish we passed around actually was a little bow inspired by my replacement, the new Asia's best female chef of 2017, who 
I'm like really excited about because she's from Hong Kong. She's Mei Chow from um, her restaurant is Little Bao, just off the area of PMQ. And um, she is just amazing. And the way Hong Kong allows us to like meet up with, you know, um, friends, make new friends. This was very impromptu, the picture that you see on the screen. We met on the last day of the year, December 31 of 2016. Somebody orchestrated, you know how Hong Kong people are the best networking people. They orchestrated this meetup. Mei Chow never leaves Hong Kong Island. She doesn't come to Kowloon side. And I was in Kowloon, but she did cross over. And we did this little meetup for just like two hours over Marianda, a little high tea. And it was wonderful to meet her in person. I mean, I, I love her restaurant. And that little bow that you had was inspired by her little little bow restaurant. But we did it with our version of your roast pig, the crispy pig. We did a cochinillo. And we used, of course, our iconic Philippine mango on dish. And then the second dish you had was a lumpia, but it's an egg roll inspired by a lucky opportunity to get a seat at Lung King Inn. Everybody knows Lung King Inn is the hardest table to get. And the chef of Lung King Inn is in the ad as well. And they do a nice lobster egg roll. And we did ours with a beautiful river prawns from the Philippines and some chorizo from my province, from Negros. And of course, you eat dim sum with a little mustard, right? If you, if you really are a local, you eat it with a little mustard and a little bit of black vinegar. So we did that sauce for the egg roll. And of course, lastly, we had some Philippine scallop um, with a little bit of glass noodles. Of course, that's our pancit. But I mean, I love, I love the razor clams with, with, um, with glass noodles or scallops with glass noodles from either under the bridge or the chairman. That's my new favorite. And that inspired me. We put a little bit of chicharron on top, a little bit of, of uh, pork rind crumble, and, uh, and a little bit of fish roe from Capix, also from the Visayas. So I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, we, I got inspiration from the classic ingredients in, in Hong Kong, but I think also the new like fusion restaurants or the new, actually, foreign chefs who've settled in Hong Kong have like inspired me, and you'll see that at the rest of the lunch. All right, so we will get into detail about the other dishes that we will be having, but I think that's a, I think everyone's a little hungry now after hearing you talk about that. Right. We will get to that in a little bit. Thank you very much. Have a round of applause once again for Chef Margarita. We will get to learn very um, detailed things about your dishes later on. Oh, and don't forget the poor team. That's like a new learning for me. So you, that was in your iced tea with some raw sugar Ooh. from the Philippines. So thank you very thank much, you very Sarah. Much. We'll get to talk to you again.